All right, so here's a quick intro video slash guide to a game called Travel Town. So Travel Town's a game with a very, your, I mean, all your purpose is, is you're going through and you're trying to purchase and complete by upgrading various buildings. So you're going to start out here on the beach and then you're going to gradually progress through the city, um, just purchasing and completing and upgrading various buildings. So you buy and upgrade these buildings using your gold coins as well as materials. Both of these you get from completing these quests up at the top of your screen, um, which require you to merge various items. Uh, so most most of the time they are gold coins, but you'll see like this one on the far right. Uh, you need to merge and get this fish. If you click on any of these here, It'll show you, okay, for this fish, you produce it from a fountain. Actually, you go, you, this little gazebo looking thing, you use the gazebo to get the fountain, and then the fountain, once the fountain's fully upgraded, you'll be able to produce the fish. Um, but that's the progression as far as getting these coins and chests. So on the upgrade screen, anything you see, like these materials, um, those are gotten from those toolbox chests. So here we'll go over here. So like your bricks, concrete, screws, and wooden planks, those are all produced from these, from these toolboxes. So like I had just completed a wooden screw box. If you double tap it, it collects it, goes, collects it and goes to your inventory here. Um, you don't have to worry too much about the game will try and even it out, so you're not going to just get a bunch of wooden planks. It seems a little random, but in general, you'll kind of get what you need to upgrade the next building. So, And you can just double tap any of these because I had completed a quest to get a couple of toolboxes. Um, as far as other progression to the, through the game, uh, your big key is... Like I said, you're just trying to level up, get stuff. Um, energy management is a big thing. Uh, so you can get up to 100 energy at a time. So I'm almost capped out here. So I'm going to want to utilize some, merge some stuff. So I'm not, because you don't want to sit idly at 100 energy. Um, but as well as you, you also get, uh, so you regenerate energy over time. But after you run out, you can watch like three or four ads to get 25 energy a piece. You can also get energy through completing various tasks here um, that pop up just every once in a while, like Labor Day, 4th of July. Um, as well as uh, you get gems. So part of the way you get gems is through your collection. Anytime you discover a new item, these instead of having like this fourth diamond thing, It'll have a, a little surprise box. You click on the box and then you'll get a free diamond. Um, your diamonds can be used. So like if I tap on a certain thing a lot, it'll recharge. You can use a diamond to skip. Honestly, a lot of times it's just better unless you're just trying to grind out a ton of energy. It's better to just wait a minute or two. I mean, close out of the app, do something else. Save your diamonds because... Um, the diamonds can be used to purchase additional energy. Um, your first buy of energy will be 10 diamonds. Your second one in a day will be 20. And then that resets every day. So it will go back to 10 the next day. So I try and usually I'll just buy the 10 diamond refill for energy. Um, you can buy the 20 if, it, if you just have a lot of extra diamonds. As well as if you go to the store in the top right uh, corner, they have different shop things uh, that this will kind of rotate, but there's certain items that will go in the shop that it can save you diamonds. If you're if there's a certain thing you just need to complete, you can just purchase it with diamonds, but a lot of times it just makes more sense to manually uh, just spawn items from your... from the different things anyways just because you're going to end up needing other materials because each thing like this gazebo will produce 
uh, the water as well as the seeds for the coconut tree. So unless you're really short on a certain item, a lot of times it just makes sense to merge to just spawn items and merge rather than going through and going through and purchasing it from the shop. Um, then so right here, if I go and upgrade, you'll see I just got experience up through. It has a little story. I don't read it a ton. Um, but yeah, then the next stage. So a lot of times they're multi-step upgrades. Your first couple are going to be just gold coins. That's your primary resource. And then your final one of each level um, will require some building materials. But that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions, if there's any issues you guys are running into. You do have a storage uh, that you can use diamonds to purchase slots. I haven't really. I've just been focusing on kind of managing my space. Not very well as it looks right now, but just you kind of get to the point where you have a lot of stuff running around. But yeah, you can manage your space, throw stuff in storage, especially production buildings you're not using. Um, but let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks for watching.